They say that the pilgrim Thorold has answers, but who knows? Ah, the gift and treasures of travel, for it brings new encounters. So what are you? Merchant? Bounty hunter? Or a nobody, like most people out there? I'm not in a faction. Well, guess you're one lonely son of a bitch then, aren't you? Here, before you start begging for help, consider it a gift from the Duke. You gave me enough that I can share. Keep your charity. It isn't smart to refuse a gift from the boss. You should learn to appreciate his generosity. How do people live here? Here, smoke one with me. Before you start bombarding me with questions, yeah? I have the best stuff here. What do you have to offer? Troll dung, rat scab, it's all first class stuff. Snort it, smoke it, either way. You'll never forget the experience. Forget it. Well, that's your choice. From time to time, you need to open a door in your head and look inside, right? But if you won't, then all the more for me. That done, let's get into the real business. What business? Real business. A proper opportunity. You see, the clerics have had this city under their control for years. And the Duke thinks they're planning to take control everywhere, sooner or later. And he thinks the Dome City could be the starting point for their military campaign. So, my job is to find out if he's right. If there is something brewing that could be dangerous for us in Tavar. What information have you gathered about the clerics? Pretty much nothing so far. They've not been very loose-lipped around me. I must sort of stand out. So, you want me to be your spy? I want you to find out information. Now I can see in your eyes that you haven't fallen for the cleric's tricks. You aren't simple enough to believe every piece of troll shit you've fed. What do you expect from me? All that you have to do is get some answers out of somebody, and I've even got the guy lined up ready for you. His name is Lutz. He's one of Alois's technicians. As far as I know, he's trying to re-establish communications with the other clerics in Ignadon. While Alois will tell you the clerics here are neutral, separate from the ones in the Horde. Go and grill Lutz. Find out if there'll be an offensive soon. Do that, then come back to me as soon as you have any useful information. You know, helping the Duke out is probably a good idea. He gets kind of pissed when he finds out you didn't. How many shards are you talking about? Enough. The Duke is generous. I pay. That much you can be sure of. Why do you think that these technicians will know about the cleric's plans? Because he's the guy that maintains all the communications equipment. He must have heard something from the comms. And he's more likely to talk than anyone further up the chain. I want to know what he's heard. I need to know what he knows. Where can I find Lutz? If he's not on a call, then he's usually working maintenance on one of the generators. Just walk along the battlement path up at the top. He can't be far. What the fuck? Hey, you. Let me guess. I'm not allowed into the upper quarter? What? No, everyone's allowed to move about freely here. I just have a question for you. You got here recently, right? I just want to know what things are like outside the dome. What's going on out there? Are the Alps attacking? There are raids, but there have been no major assaults recently. I'm sure that's just the calm before the storm. I just hope the dome holds. There's a lot of people depending on this dome of mine. So they pass us by like a river around a rock. Kalan gave us the knowledge, and now look what we've achieved. A safe harbor for all people. The clerics and Ignodons say we've strayed. I say we've found the true path. You built the dome? I designed the plans for it. Then we built it together. My name is Eric by the way. Chief Engineer here in the Dome. 
I'm in charge of all the generators and technicians who oversee them. Why don't the clerics have a dome like this in Ignaton? The dome requires immense amounts of energy, and the fluctuations in it have to be constantly balanced. The technology is complex. That means there's no way to cover the Hort with a shield like this. Besides, the cliffs around Hort give it a natural protection. Can this dome survive an Albatac? Of course. Why do you think we built it? As long as we can maintain a constant energy flow, then they can't get in. Unfortunately, achieving that isn't so easy. Some of the energy regulators are starting to malfunction again. I can repair the energy regulators for you. Thanks for the offer, but that's not necessary. I've already repaired the components. They just haven't all been installed yet. About the broken energy regulators. What will happen if they aren't repaired? If just one regulator fails, it could mean an emergency shutdown for the dome. Otherwise, the discharge it would create could kill a whole lot of the people the shield is supposed to be protecting. But whether it's a discharge or an emergency shutdown, both scenarios would see us defenseless. How many energy regulators are broken? Well, all of them. I've sorted replacements where I can. But Lutz hasn't received his yet. I will help you with the energy regulators. I would wanted to do it myself, but do you really think you could handle it? So, let's find out who you are. You should go to Ignadon one day. You could be a good cleric. Yeah, I know, I left Ignadon behind, but they could offer you better training than I could. I have the energy regulator here. Please, take it to Lutz and help him to install it. Come back to me when you're done. Hey you, I heard you speaking to Eric. He gave you an energy regulator for the dome, right? Give it to me, will you? Very soon now, you're going to need the right sort of friend, and giving that to me will earn you that. Why do you want the regulator? Haven't you noticed the tension here? All the anger and the plotting? It scares the hell out of me. So I want a way out of here if things go wrong. A sort of backdoor. I want to modify the regulator so I can drop a section of the dome and get out if things go bad. Let me modify it, then I'll give it back to you so you can get it to where it needs to be. You've got to see why I'd want a way out, yeah? So do we have a deal? What's in it for me if I help you? Profit is profit. I respect that attitude. What do you think about a hundred shards? I won't give you the regulator. Then you've blown your chance. And don't come back to me and ask for help when no one will let you out of here. Keep your hands off my machines. Any accidents are going to be dangerous for me, you, and the whole city. The energy regulators are screwed. The surge gauge is failing and I can't see why. And now the shield profiler is returning a really strange set of values. Altogether, that makes for one dangerous set of problems that could fry both of us if the wrong bit of kit gets jolted. And I'm the one who has to fix all this. Ah, oh, shit, I can't even sort out the replacement parts until I have this stabilized. I heard you are having trouble establishing communications with the Horde in Ignodon. That is just... Wait. How do you know that? That's confidential. One of the outlaws told me. 
The outlaws? The last thing we need is for them to know about our problems. Do you think it's just one outlaw that knows, or do they all know? I have no idea. That is a worry. A real worry. Well, we can't waste any more time. We need to fix that comms relay station before anyone tries to take advantage of our problems. Since you're in the know, can you help me? We might be able to come to an agreement. An agreement? Okay, sure, an agreement. As long as you help. If you don't help us, we could lose everything we have here. And if things fall apart out there, you can be certain that it will get bloody for everyone. What's so important about fixing your communications right now? We're awaiting the delivery of some combat mechs. But they haven't arrived, and we've no way to check why without communications being re-established. That's why we've got to get the link back up now, so we can find out what's going on. I could go to the Horde and find out what's going on. Sure, that would help for this. But you can't keep going back and forth for us. No, we have to re-establish ongoing contact, and that means fixing the comm link. We need to get this fixed as soon as possible. And please, please, keep this problem confidential. Otherwise, we are very likely to face even greater challenges. Here are the coordinates of the relay station that's gone down. It's over to the northeast of the city. Head that way and keep looking out for an antenna on the horizon. But I have no idea what the issue is there. You might be able to fix it at the bottom, but there's a chance you might have to climb the antenna mast. There will be a device somewhere on site that you can use to recalibrate the antenna. I hope that'll be enough to fix the problem. Eric sent me. Oh, thank Kalan. Do you have the energy regulator? Yes. Here. Perfect. That looks great. Thanks. Thanks for getting that. I'll install it immediately. You better get back to Eric. You can tell him I'm putting it in right now. Maintenance is always better than repair. You're wanted here. Report to Alois immediately if you don't want trouble. Lutz has the energy regulator. Good. The dome should be more stable now. I thank Kalan for sending you.